A rash of car burglaries in Cedar Hill, bad enough, right? But now police say what was taken from one of those vehicles has them worried about what this thief could do next. Our Robbie Owens live in the neighborhood. Well, Kaylee, in many of these burglaries, these homeowners are out several hundred dollars to replace broken windows when there were no valuables left inside. All that changed, though, police say, when that thief stumbled across a gun. Where do you park? In the alley, right behind the house. Mike Bolden is one of the lucky ones. His pickup was skipped when someone went on a burglary spree in a Cedar Hill neighborhood, breaking car windows before rummaging around inside. 15, 20 years ago, they broke in the trunk of my car back there, but hmm. here lately I hadn't. No problem. No problem. That changed for several neighbors Monday night into Tuesday morning. Police say seven vehicles were targeted as the thief moved up and down alleys looking for vehicles parked outside. Now, police have a new worry. The car thief is armed. It absolutely ups the ante. Cedar Hill Police Lieutenant Colin Chenault. Well, we know they're bold enough to go break into seven cars in one, you know, one night. What else are they bold enough to do? And that's our, that's our concern. Meanwhile, in nearby Grand Prairie, police are also dealing with reports of car thieves targeting neighborhoods and have turned to social media to spread the take, lock, and hide message. In at least one instance, homeowners there have shared surveillance video of a car thief who also appears to be armed. It is a recipe for trouble, some say, in any city. Watch out. I mean, they need to stop. I mean, people worked hard every day and... You know, around this time of year, you know, it's, it's not good. In Cedar Hill, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.